the other day at the clinic i had to perform an internal examination for a patient as i was taking her to the examination room she started asking questions like is this going to hurt or are you going to put something into my vagina when she started showing so much anxiety i immediately stopped i asked her a series of questions about her sexual life and as suspected it turns out she was having some issues she said what translated as that whenever her partner would come closer to her and try to penetrate she would push him away and when he when he would penetrate she would experience a lot of pain on asking further questions it turns out that she has been having this issue only recently in the last year and before that she's been having a very active and a comfortable sex life what this woman was experiencing is something called vaginismus vaginismus is basically the automatic contraction of the vaginal muscles as body's reaction to fear of some or all kinds of penetration now there are two kinds of vaginismus primary and secondary the primary type is when a uh, sex uh, penet- vaginal penetration has never been achieved whereas secondary uh, vaginismus is when vaginal penetration was achieved before but now is a problem or now is it is not happening in this case definitely the woman is having secondary vaginismus the important question is that is this treatable yes absolutely the treatment for vaginismus is a multidisciplinary approach including your gynecologist and a counselor now why counselor because sometimes a bad sexual experience or any kind of abuse could also be the reason for vaginismus and needs to be handled with a lot of care the goal of the treatment is to reduce the spasm of the vaginal muscles and in turn that will reduce the fear of penetration now this is a very very gradual process the first most important step is to desensitize the area the desensitization process can be started by the woman itself using her own fingers initially so that she is more comfortable and in control with her body later on vaginal dilators can be used to slowly release the spasm um, after a, after a while when the woman is comfortable it is always encouraged to include your partner through this process as well so that you can slowly slowly feel comfortable pelvic floor exercises are also useful or beneficial to release the vaginal uh, spasms the, vag- the vaginal muscle spasms and they can also help uh, these were the conservative methods uh, for treating uh, vaginismus and like i said before it is a very gradual and a step by step approach that is needed however in some severe cases the conser- conservative methods are not going to help in that case a specific treatment will be required the ideal person to assess and judge what kind of treatment you will need is of course your trusted gynecologist it's actually a very common condition but most cases go unreported because women are embarrassed to talk about this but it is time to break free the fear and own your right to have a pleasurable and a comfortable sex life